going on, everybody? Welcome to the Bobby Podcast. I'm joined with my boy Matt Moresco, aka the real Matt Damon. We got my boy Matt Wong, who won't show up on camera, aka Matty Ice. How y'all doing? Yo, yo. Doing this again, man. I love doing these. This is going to be the third one we've doing. Yeah. Starting to get more comfortable with it. You starting to get a little bit more drunk with it, and. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm actually loving, like, it just feels like we're sitting at work laughing and doing our things. It's natural stuff, you know, and it seems like the more we do, it's just the more crazy it's going to get, the more comfortable we're going to get with each other. And I'm learning a lot about you and Matt Wong, and I'm loving this, man. It's just free, you know, but... Three good guys having a good time. That's how I look at it. So, we talk about all these different things, and most recently, this we had a discussion, and it's, 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 this business discussion has been going on for a long time, and it is... Who would you take, Angelina Jolie or Jennifer Aniston? And Brad Pitt made his decision back in what 2005 yep. during the shoot of what Mr. and Mrs. Smith, right? Yes, he divorced. He pretty much got it in with Angelina Jolie, and he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna stick with this." He left Jennifer Aniston, and ever since then, it's just been a debate: Are you Team uh, Aniston or are you Team Jolie? So I want the three of us to debate this for a few minutes because I don't know if we're all on the same page. So we're going to find out right now. So I want to start with Matt Wong, Matt Wong. Now, the way we look at this, the way I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it past, present, I guess future, you know. Any era. Any era of these two women because it would be hard for me to pick one or the other between these ones. But I think it would be, it'd be more interesting to do it like this. So Matt Wong, Angelina Jolie, or Jennifer Aniston, who we got? Which era are we talking about? Go five? Uh, I I say I say just start where you want to start. I say start two thousand five and work your way up to. I'm a big Friends fan, so Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Okay, what 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 is what is it about that two thousand five? always talk about like she has that kind of wholesome girl mm-hmm. next door. Mm-hmm. She's cute, but mm-hmm. she's got a banging body. Mm-hmm. She keeps in shape. Her skin's like always like smooth and stuff. Jolie looks like she got a little work done, mm-hmm. you know? She got a great body. Like in Tomb Raider, she looked really amazing. God, right? I would have banged her so many right, times right, right, back right. then. Oh, but as Mariska would always say, she looks like she's trouble, man. She Jolie looks like she's trouble, man. So 2005, okay. you would have you would have told Brad Pitt, like, whoa, 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 bro, you got something nice yeah, here. You may, you may have seen, like, a nice little Ferrari to drive by, mm-hmm. but you got a, you know, nice little Porsche at home. Mm-hmm, that you got, that's <laughs> keep. Okay, all right. So yeah, yeah. that that's then. Now, the, the two of them together, present day, who you got? Still got Jennifer Aniston. Still Jennifer Aniston. Even like with that movie that she just came out with, look at that body. The, the, we had a Miller's the or Millers. someone. Woo. That little strip tease day she did, or right? even back in the day, remember that water commercial she did? Remember remember the ad that was on the top of like uh, all the websites? Oh, it was on, on Sports Center. I mean yeah, ESPN. 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 Oh. That Jennifer Aniston did? Yeah. yeah it was boy. See? Sort of water. It was some type of weird ass energy water drink or something like that, but it was like black and white. Oh my lord. Yeah. Okay, so... Wow, so we, we got we got past and present. We I don't know she's gonna look like in the future, so I can't ask you that. But I would say she's still gonna look good. She just takes care of herself. She, she's in her forties, right? They're both in their forties, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Probably. Yeah. She looks she looks doesn't look like she's in her forties, man. So we got Matt Wong, Jennifer Aniston all the way. All right. Come on, man. I'm going Angelina Jolie. I don't care what year. And I think I break this down. I don't know. I see I see Jennifer they're both both good looking. I think they both have good bodies. Mm-hmm. There, there's no denying that. But I see Jennifer Aniston, and I maybe it's because I went to school in Southern California for a couple of years. Or maybe it's because I had blonde hair at one point. Mm-hmm. But I see Jennifer Aniston. I see a lot of other women women looking like her. So she just so, is in a pack with other just, blondes. Yeah, I, she and she seems she comes across as plain. Mm-hmm. And I see I see uh, Jolie. <laughs> I like the fair skin. She looks exotic. I like the lips. I like the dark hair. And I don't care what era. So 2005, you got Angelina Jolie. I'm going Jolie. Present yeah. day, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so now we can... So Matt Wong is Jennifer Aniston. All the way, no matter what. You are Angelina Jolie... Present, future, past, everything. Everything. So, so now, okay, all right. So, I've thought long and hard about this too. I, I mean, ever since it happened back, and I remember reading that very first article of. Um, actually, it goes back before that. I remember um, on Oprah Winfrey show they had um, Angelina Jolie, and I, I'm sorry, uh, Jennifer Aniston. I think was on was a guest on the show, and they was talking about how her and Brad Pitt are together, married happily, and this and that. He was filming Troy at the time, 
And, you know, he had got all cut up for that and everything like that. I mean, he was nice looking back then. I don't know why I brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this but, is about women, man. This is about women. But uh, I remember just seeing that and going, man, they look really happy together. And then... Well, this this is Aniston and Pitt. And Pitt, yeah. This was they, when they were still together. And then I remember uh, seeing, hearing things about, you know, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt being cast to do uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And then you start seeing little articles coming out about Angela Jolie's doing things and trying to get Brad's attention. And, you know, you had Jennifer mad and all. And I couldn't blame him. You know what? Back then, during those times, I think, past, I would have been on Angelina Jolie's team because I've always liked her, the sexiness that she brought. I mean, she's always been sexy. Like, say, them lips, them, like, black people lips. They just so <laughs> succulent and full. The eyes are pretty, and and like Matt Wong said, Tomb Raider, gosh, she they couldn't have cast a better person to play that role. I mean, she like the hair they Hackers. get. Her. Remember the movie Hackers? She, Ooh, go way she, back. She's okay in that. I remember in Gone in sixty seconds. I remember that she was okay in Gone in sixty seconds. But I always look back to Original Sins with Antonio Banderas. She was sexy. Oh man. my yeah. goodness, that was such a. You haven't seen that. No, you're Angelina Jolie, Jolie fan, so you've seen the original since. I don't even know why I asked you that, but yeah, I don't think I've seen it. Oh, wait. Infantry. And I'm uh, still and I'm still saying Jolie. Well, well, have you seen Taken it. Lives with her and Ethan Hunt? Hey, Ethan Hawke. Hawk. Ethan Hawke. I've seen bits and pieces. Yeah. Oh my god. See, see now, see this is what I'm saying. See, I've seen all these older movies. Her, her when she was with Billy Bob Thornton. I can't believe Billy Bob Thornton was killing that. But she's with Billy That's Bob right. Thornton back in the day. I think I know more about your pick than you do, you know? <laughs> Sounds but like you do. I, back in the past, like you said, I didn't watch much of Friends, like my one, but I, when I did see, I've seen two episodes of Friends, and it's been the same episode. When they said the air the reruns on Channel 2, yeah. I've seen the same episode twice in, in like a span of like however many years it was on. But she always looked just average to me. I was like, oh, it's just average blonde, you know, nice skin color, tone, body. She always had that cuteness to me. She seemed sweet, somebody you want to take home. Yeah. But Angelina Jolie, Angelina Jolie was just bad. Like, I always think back to original scenes. And I and Taking Lives and Tomb Raider. And I've always liked her back then. So I would have took her back then. But now, present day, I am taking Jennifer Aniston. 100 yeah, percent it right, seems right. like as time has gone by she looks like she gets sexier and sexier and sexier as she gets older i mean she is just just spectacular I, the first movie that comes to mind when i think about her is horrible bosses when she was like uh was it charlie day's she's boss a right she's, she's a just dentist just the, i've, I've the seen i've seen most of that yeah. Yeah. she wore nothing under the lab coat just and look she has so much fun and that's the thing she's gotten older she's gotten sexier and, she, and i hear her on set I've read articles that people just love working with her. You know, just yeah. just badass. I mean, I, I bet she nasty now. I bet she learned from that wholesome. <laughs> I think she decided. You know what? My man left me for this. You know, woman who just exhibits this sexuality. Because that's what you thought of Angelina Jolie. You, she's just sexy. So I think over time she's going to somebody, and somebody turned her out, and she just. Horrible bosses, but, but now that's bad. also her character in a movie. Yeah. Now, now these both these women. So I mean, who knows? I don't, we don't know. Him, we don't know him personally, but I'm just saying, if I was taking somebody past, it would have been Angelina Jolie because she probably did some freaky shit to me, just had me toes curled, you know. But I think now, even when I look at Angelina Jolie now, I don't know. I don't. Her skin doesn't look all that great. She's super skinny. I, I mean, I understand she's taking care of you know the kids that she adopts. She's she seems like a great human being. Like all the stuff she's and that's doing. That's why. Yeah, this is, I don't think this is easy. Like I, we we've all made it sound easy, but mm -hmm. I mean, push comes to shove. Like it's definitely not an easy choice because well, I don't think there's a lot of flaws. In the long run, it looks like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, like personality-wise, matched a little bit better, right? Mm -hmm. They're they have a certain like they want to save the world, right? Mm -hmm. Save kids and like all that stuff, and it seems like they they match a little more better, maybe, right? Yeah, I mean, and back in the day, it seemed like Jennifer Aniston and, and he were the way to go, but as time evolved. That just seems to be he was drawn to her. I mean, not just sexually, but obviously he's seen something else. Because are are they, are they getting married or are they married or? Yeah, something? they're waiting for the gay marriage to get passed, right? They're That's waiting for gay marriage to get passed so they can get married. Really? Because they won't do it unless everyone can do it. Oh, person. okay. Right. See, they like got this whole that save the world humanity wrong, thing. Right. But but when we get back to this discussion, I just think that. Jo um, Aniston has just taken care of her body to the point where you just like I mean again because we are looking at body character even though we don't know their character right. I'm just thinking at this point in time 
You got to take Jennifer Aniston. You got to. I mean, it looks like she... Even in the movie, she she did with uh, Adam Sandler. The one where he... Like he Brooklyn mm. Decker. And, there's a and Brooklyn, Brooklyn Decker was killing that. But even when Jennifer Aniston took her stuff off... Because you always... you I, I thought with Brooklyn Decker's younger. She's a model. She's going to look like this. But... When Jennifer Aniston put herself, she wasn't no slouch. When she came out with her bikini on, I, th I think Brooklyn Decker even said that she was kind of intimidated by her. Yeah, because she she was like rocking it. Yeah, like she wasn't no slouch at forty whatever. She still looks, <laughs> you know. So hey, I I think me and Matt Wong I, I, in the beginning I was with you, but now <clears throat> I'm taking Jennifer Aniston. I just think that's the way to do it. I'm glad we did that part and got out the way. So now I think we can transition into the second part of the discussion where we want to talk about. Pretty much are the top women who we enjoy now. Like women who you say, I want to either take home for that one night or a few nights. One, you want to take home to moms and say, hey, mom, this is who going to have the grandbabies for you. Or just one, you just like, okay, I can't stand her. So I made my list. I have four women present day right now. I, I kind of look at body of work and everything at these women. And these are my top four women. So I'm going to go first. Number one. No, no, I'm going to count down. It's number four. I still love Selma Hayek to this day. Selma Hayek, the lasting impression I have of her is two movies. From Dust to Dawn, when she's dancing with that snake. Oh, my God. That is definitely one of the best <laughs> scenes in, in cinema history. <laughs> two, from uh, the first, not no, El March, El March. Desperado. It's Desperado. Walking down mm -hmm. the street and causing all those cars to wreck. Gosh, semi -hot. That's how I remember it. Gosh, semi -hot. So that's four. My number three is Meghan Markle. New chick. She uh, plays in the U.S. network show Suits. I think she's half black and half Irish. Just gorgeous. And, and I, again, we don't know none of these women, but if I had my choice, I think she'd be one that's just like nice, wholehearted, just I love her to death. So I want to I bang her so hard, man. <laughs> That's three. Number two is Eva Mendez. Now, this was a hard choice because my number one number two were two of the top. Eva Mendez is one of the coolest. I swear she has to be one of the most down-to-earth ladies on this planet. And I don't know if she may be just acting or what, but Eva Mendez has the looks. It seems like she has the character. And just seems like the down-to-earth chick you can go watch the game with, you know, Watch the game with, take out the dinner, and come home banger. You know. You've always said she she needs to get more things like maybe comedies or you know she's always kind of the side character, right? Yeah, you know, it seems she's... like she has the ability to do other things, not just there as a pretty face. Yeah, I think yeah. she can do more. So that's number two, and number one has got to be Halle Berry. Now Halle Berry <laughs> has been doing her thing for a long time. I've only seen her look bad in maybe one or two movies. Uh, things they lost in the fire. She, I don't know about that, but. For sure, Jungle Fever. She was a crackhead in that. She looked terrible. <laughs> Losing Isaiah, she didn't look all that great. Uh, Monsters Ball, she didn't look all that great. But, but that God, was on she purpose. Still, yeah, girl, she still looked... Yeah. I don't care. Mm -hmm. But, dude, it just seems like as time has gone by, she just looks... just. Uh, she's found the fountain of youth. Her, She's found it. Uh, Jennifer Aniston has found it. They have the fountain of youth, and they're just keeping up with it. So, if my number one overall pick for women that I want is Halle... Berry. Well, which 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 movie which era is like epitomizes? Oh man, Halle Berry looks good in every era. I mean, short hair Halle Berry from the James Bond movie when she comes out the water—that was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I got uh, another short hair Halle Berry from uh, what's the what's the movie? Swordfish. Uh, mm -hmm. Man, Halle Berry looks good in everything, man. I like short hair Halle Berry. I like long hair Halle Berry, but short hair Halle, Halle Berry is the truth. So that's my top four right there. That's who I got. Who's gonna go next? Who's gonna try to top that? I don't even know how to follow that. <laughs> I'll try to follow that. You, you, you gonna try to top that? To follow, okay, Come so on. I don't have an order. I don't have like. Well, we we got your ladies on here. So do I need to show this to the camera or? or? Nah, we'll, we'll put up some pictures later. Okay, all right. We, so, we, we me, me and Resco and I can look go at them. The furthest tab. I'll start with Bar. How do you say that last name? Shit, I don't know. Yelly or the swimsuit model? Le no, that's oh no. The one on the far right. Oh, uh, Rafaela. Yeah, we're gonna say that. Sorry if we got that wrong, baby girl. So that's she. She's she's on that list. So she, oh, you don't have no order, huh? You just no, said she I'm hot. I'm just gonna list names. Uh, she looks superficial to me. Uh, uh, yep. Uh, what's next on that tab? Is it? Uh, we got Sarah next. Sarah Sahi. Sarah Sahi. Sarah Sahi's bad, bro. Where she? Where, where we know her from? Because a lot she of people. She was on the USA Network. She had her own show. Uh, she was mm -hmm. on the L Word. If you remember that from Showtime. That's a lesbian show, right? Yep. Oh, I never um, watched that, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it <laughs> she out. She was in that movie with Sylvester Stallone, Bullet to the Head. Oh, okay. That's the most recent. Damn, she's yeah, bad yeah. too. Okay, she. 
Uh, she's she looks cute. older though. She's I don't know. Cute. Maybe she's like in her mid thirties. No, so, nothing she's wrong with that. But hot, she's she was cute. the alias way back in the day with uh, Bradley Cooper. She, she was. Uh, Bradley Cooper was an alias. Yeah, I didn't man. Know that. He was Ooh. the friend. He Good knowledge. I didn't know that. No. I gotta watch, watch more TV. Let's go. Uh, Next. Or maybe I uh, should. Genesis Rodriguez. We know her. She's in a Gillette commercial with Kate Upton and Samana, uh, Hannah Simone. Yeah, the Hannah three Simone of them. Was pretty yeah, we, we, we did a top three. Me, uh, Maresco, and uh, one of our co workers did a top three. And um, a lot of people chose Hannah Simone over uh, Rodriguez. I'm going her right now. Okay. Yeah. She, First three. It's the hair. In the Gillette commercial, hair her hair's smile. got that. That real frizzy, like I'm wild look. Yeah, yeah. When her hair is like just plain, like straight, she looks regular to me. But she's bad. But okay. she looks like fucking trouble, man. <laughs> yeah. No. You're not taking her to mom. You're not yeah, taking yeah, her yeah. to mom. Mom, her. mom. Mama gonna know. Mama gonna go. Uh, uh-uh, uh, get her out of my house. <laughs> you know. But next. And then the last one is uh, how do you spell? Manuel Sharik. She bad. She too. was on Entourage. She um, could be on my. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else. She's been in a bunch of little things. Yeah, so you got a bunch of just pretty women who are off for these women. I don't know them, but I'm pretty sure a lot of these women are so superficial. I mean, my women may be like that too, but you got some, you got women that I'm thinking I'm just taking to Switzerland and, and we're going to have us a good weekend and I ain't never going to see them again. I don't, I, actually, this one, this chick would be the one who she, looks like you you could bring. We're talking about Emanuela? Yeah. She bad, ain't she? Emanuel? You take Emmanuel, 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 yeah. This is the, this. She actually looks like you could bring her back to your parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's you're, you're for it bad. Yeah, you're for it bad. Fuck. All right, Maris, go. Yeah, my, mine's your pitiful man. Nah, man. Come on. Dude. Come on. All right. Come on. Um, come on. Come on. All right. I guess I need to watch more TV. But all right, the three, the three I'm picking, I guess, and this is in no particular order. I'm gonna go. Cameron Diaz, Cameron Diaz from from the mask. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie. Go, I ain't gonna lie. Go, Ooh, go. we that was that. probably her yeah. prime. She was, she was like, long hair, don't, don't care. Wasn't distributed well. She wasn't super. She thin. was thick. Yeah, she was thick. Yeah. Yo, yeah. lips. I mean, Cameron God. Diaz from the mask. She was hot. I watched that movie as a kid a lot. She is fucking smoking. No, Woo. Pun intended. You surprised me on that one, buddy. Wow. In that movie. Okay. But that's the only camera deals because once we get past that yeah, one, it's I don't know. Like Charlie's Angel, she's like getting a little too strung out. Like she's like thin. her hair start. I mean, not hair. It's the, the the eyes don't really match the face. It looks like she's always about to cry to me or something. Well, she's like, that. like starting to wrinkle a little bit too. She's getting, old. She's getting older. It's mid. Yeah, she's so she she got to be mid to late forties though yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's all right. Good. All right, that's a good. All right, one. so I'm yeah, I'm going Cameron Diaz. Uh, I got to go Rachel McAdams. Just like she seems like one of those Rachel cute. McAdams from the Notebook. Rachel McAdams from any movie. So we got Mean Girls, Notebook. Mean Girls and Notebook. Yeah. Uh, we got recent ones. Uh, let's take home the mama, movie. I guess, huh? Take her home yeah. to mama. Yeah, but, but she, she just, yeah, down, down to earth. I think she's freaking hot. Um, I mean, but this is your picks. I can't complain. I mean, I wouldn't take her home nowhere, but... <laughs> Nowhere? I mean, I mean, so you, I, even try you take her to the gutter. Uh, I mean, she, she, okay, I mean, for top, li- again, it's your list. It's your list. Right. And I can't... Get on your list because I mean, you look at mine, you look at Matt Wong's, then we look at yours, and it's your second pick. He's just like. But one thing I like though, all of her lists are very different though. Yeah. It seems like, which is cool. I mean, I did like her in a Notebook. I mean, that was a good film. Me and watching. She's a good looking girl. Yeah. Can't deny. So, it. Next, brings my. All right, now my my sleeper and my last pick. I'm going Jessica, Chastain, Chastain, Chastain. Oh, she was in uh, Zero Dark Thirty. She was, she was in Mama, life. Tree of Life, uh, Red she Hair. Was in the help. She was in the, she was a chick in the help. Remember they go like to the to the banquet towards the latter half of the movie, mm-hmm. and she she drinks a shitload. She hires uh, she hires the maid who makes the uh, the uh, like the cake out of shit. Oh, okay. That, no, no, that blonde. She she the one that that always that, she's always having like a miscarriage. She had the mom. Was that the mom who? No, no, no. That's that's, that's, that's Ron different. Howard's daughter. That's a different one. That's a different. Okay, chance. okay. So but I've seen that movie. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, she's the blonde. Like she goes that the uh, the banquet kind of gets a little too fucked up. Yeah, and she, she rips the, she rips the girl's dress. She wasn't bad. She was she's pretty. Bad. She's yeah. very good looking. She wasn't, okay, hey, and she's local. She's okay, okay. she's not bad. Is she really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Chris is like I'm not to look her. <laughs> okay, all right. So, so uh, that, that's, that's not bad at all. So we got Thank my picks. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. I mean, because again. I can't tell you who to pick what ladies to like. You know, I can frown upon them because they're not on my list, but overall, I like them. I mean, Rachel McAdams is cute. She, you never Appreciate know, she's that. probably a freak. 
So now what we're gonna do with our list? Cause we got, I got mine, you have yours. Matt Wong has his. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick who's the number one of each list and put them in the battle royale of, and we're all gonna choose basically who we want to marry, right? Yeah. Who we want to sex, and who we just gotta be like, I don't want nothing to do with you, right? Is that is that how we yeah, looking yeah, at? Yeah. Marry sex kill. The game. So I went first last time. You went second, you went third, so we're going to switch it. You go first. Who's who's the top pick out of that? The, so the top pick who, out who of my we, three that I want to enter into this, this contest. Yeah. Um, should, we, hey, should we move the winner of the Angelina Jolie and Jennifer Aniston thing into this so it could be four? Would that be, I mean, because we already picked a split so, decision. So how about you, out of the three, whoever gets picked kicked out, then, and, and, you know, is gone and then replace that person with Jolie Wait, with Aniston, guys. Aniston, 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 Aniston won. Aniston won. So, right. we, so Aniston is going to make it to the final four. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm put her in. First round by. So I'm going to put her in as, <laughs> as uh, I guess, <laughs> I guess number one overall. All right, who you got, Mursko? Out of your three. Who all right, you? based on all your guys' reactions, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with my sleeper, Jessica Chaston. All right. She's the number two. Going with the local hottie. All right, Matt Wong? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little shout out to our boy uh, Isaac. Um, I'll, 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 Genesis Rodriguez. I'll. I'll I think she'll do it pretty well. And she's the second one on. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. This I didn't think our list was gonna be able to to make it because I thought <laughs> I just thought I was gonna shit on you guys, but you know what? I'm actually having a hard time here because Halle Berry is one A and Eva Mendez is one B in my book. Even though I put Eva Mendez is two, they're running neck and neck because. Do you I, want us to help you? No, I don't know because I didn't help you guys pick your pick. <laughs> <sighs> I think I'm going to have to stick with my gut here and and go Halle Berry. I got to put her as my as my number 1. All right, she's the final. She's, well, I know. Uh... So, so the way we're going to look at this now, so we have four we have four women. We have number 1 overall, Jennifer Aniston since she made it out of Angelina Jolie Jennifer Aniston debate. Number 2 we have Jessica Chastain. Chastain. And then in the third in the third in the third row, we have Genesis Rodriguez, your hot chick, who I would just take home, maybe, maybe not. And number four is my Halle Berry. I mean, I honestly shouldn't think Halle Berry should be four, but I just put it because <laughs> I went last. So, from this point of all these women, so now we we basically saying who we're going to marry, who we're going to take home, for, take to Switzerland for the weekend, yep. and who we just going to be like, I don't want nothing to do with. So, that, is that what we doing? So, basically, somebody's going to get picked, kicked out of this group. So, so somebody's get kicked out first, right? Is that what we're going to do? We're going to narrow it down to somebody gets just We picked. have to agree, amongst the three of us, who, who's not going to make it to the next round. Can I start? Yeah. Gen- this girl, Genesis, is gone. Wow. Really? We, we, we can't kick out Aniston, right? She's made it. She's in the finals. All right. Yeah, I'm going to kick out this chick. Jennifer. So, uh, so, okay. He, so, he said, who, who are you taking out of it? Probably she has staying. Because, well, not, not personal. No, 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 no. I hear you. Halle Berry is just that. Okay, you know what? Like I said, I'm taking Jessica Chastain out too. God man. damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So now, so now we got. Now we, yesterday, man, she's still oh, no. no, yeah, she hot. So now we got three. So Aniston, Genesis Rodriguez, and Halle Berry. So what are we doing? What are, How are we going to go about this? Well, just why don't you pick who would you buy, try, you know, who would you marry? Well, I'm going to try. I'm, tr- <laughs> this is I'm trying day. Aniston. I think Aniston will do Try some Aniston, freaky though. stuff. To- okay. I think she has developed over the years. I think she is going to do some freaky things to me that's going to blow my socks off. So I'm trying her. Now, what is it? Try and then what's the other one? Get rid of this person? Or Barry. Mary. I, I'm marrying Halle Berry. <laughs> I don't care what anyone... I, I don't care what went wrong with her and Eric Benet because that's who she had married in the first... I don't care what went wrong there. I think the problem was that she did Monsters Ball and Eric Benet was like, whoa. You're showing everyone your... Whoa. Guts. And he said, I'm not dealing with this. I don't know Halle Berry personally, but if I'm waking up to the next to that every morning... It's not a bad deal. It ain't, it ain't too bad. <laughs> I don't... I love Gen- Genesis Rodriguez. It's just something about her that just makes me go... You, you, like I said, you're, you're trouble. I don't need that headache. No. I don't. You're go- you know, she's out. So, I'm taking Halle Berry home and I'm, and I'm, and I'm banging Naniston on the side. <laughs> That's how it is. I think you're going to go last. I think you should go next. Okay, I, I am going to go with... I'm going to try Janice Rodriguez for the same reasons. She's hot, but mm-hmm. you don't want to take her home. 
I'm probably gonna bring home Jennifer Aniston. Bring it home. I knew you was gonna stick whatever, with her. Whatever. I mean, this is. I love Halle Berry, but you gotta. That only leaves one option. I know you. I mean, you love Aniston. So, I mean, yeah, I'm not yeah. mad. I'm, I'm, I'm a Jennifer Aniston fan. So All right. She's she's coming home. All right. <laughs> Go ahead, Resco. I got the you. same, same answer as him. I know I just got done bashing Aniston wow. against Jolie, but I just I don't. So you this this chick right here, Genesis Sega Genesis Rodriguez. <laughs> I'm uh <laughs> definitely doing a one night stand with her. Wow. I'm bringing home Aniston, and I'm I'm killing Halle Berry. Wow. I just I don't. Not saying Halle Berry is ugly by any means, no, no, but no. I just I, I just I don't find her that attractive. Mm, mm, don't find it that try. No. That's, 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 that's when you lose some respect right there. Compared, compared, that's compared, that's compared that's like the, the three in this group, she's, she's, she's the one I kill. I, no, I mean, the only reason I didn't say try Genesis Rodriguez, I just think, I just think Aniston would just, she's older and I just think she's just, just like a cougar that's just waiting to unleash like that anger and frustration, that's and, just, why I want that and, and I think and I think she's just gonna go, yeah. Bobby. I want to let you see what Brad Pitt has let go, and I think she's just gonna just just my brains at the end. I'm gonna be like, I need a timeout. I'm gonna be tapping out, going, wait a second. And I'm not mad. I would love to have that. And then Halle Berry, I'm just like, yo, this is Halle Berry. Like, I'm with her every day. <laughs> I'm and and I got full access to that anytime. I'm with Halle Berry, full time. Like you just like y'all throwing her away like there's nothing. You're idiots for that. This is I'm sorry. So okay, I can respect that. So I just want to tell everybody, you know, thanks for joining this discussion. Please send in your emails to us. Give us your take on who you pick and who you would have went with. I mean, if you don't choose Halle Berry, your email's getting dis discarded. <laughs> but please join in on this. Let us know who you pick and why, and just keep coming back. This is the Bobby Podcast, and we sign off, man. Peace and love. Bye.